From yesterday's volleyball game to tonight's football game, we've, we've got, got the scoop. scoop. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Ready? Begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Centurions, and welcome to another episode of the Inside Scoop. I'm Alexis Valencia. And I'm Dolores Martinez. Today is October 11, 2019, starting off the broadcast with the video of the Students of the Month for August and September. Congratulations to all the students that were given um, the Student of the Month Award. Hey Alexis, have you heard about National Coming Out Day? National Coming Out Day, what's that? Well, National Coming Out Day actually takes place today. It is an observed Civil Awareness Day recognized annually on October 11th. This day celebrates individuals who public publicly identify as bisexual, lesbian, gay, or transgenders coming out regarding their sexual orientation and or gender identity. Happy National Coming Out Day. But did you know what else today is? It's International Day of the Girl. International Day of the Girl is meant to promote the empowerment of young girls everywhere. So happy International Girl Day to all the ladies here at Century. Speaking of girl empowerment, our varsity volleyball girls took on Valley yesterday. And luckily for those of you that couldn't make it, um, Ricky got you covered. Take it away, Ricky. 
Good morning, Centurions. I'm here at Valley High School, where our girls volleyball team will be going against the Falcons to see how they do. And there you have it, Centurions. Our girls came in with a loss, but we'll get them next time, girls. Now back to the studio. Great hustle, ladies. We'll get them next time. Their next game is on Monday versus Savannah from 4.30 to 6.30. Come and check them out. While we're on the topic of sports, though, if you're not busy today, head over to the Glover Stadium to support our varsity football guys, playing versus Anaheim. See you there, Centurions. Hey, Dolores, do you have any information about the tennis team? The tennis team had a match against the Valley against Valley yesterday. The ladies took the win over all 15 to 3. And the doubles did a really good job. They won all of their games. Special shout out goes to Azucena Espinosa. After being injured for a while, she went back on the courts to take the first league win in her single match. The tennis team will also be having a game this Monday versus Savannah here at Century. So if you're not busy, go out and support the girls. But I but don't forget about a cross-country team. They have been doing a fabulous job on all their ma past meets. They will be having their next game next Friday on October 18 at OC Champs Santiago Oaks Park from 3 to 7 p.m. Alexis, you know what you're gonna, are you, do you know what you're gonna be for Halloween? No, honestly, no. I've been so backed up with all these ASB teams. I haven't been able to plan it yet. Honestly, same. I didn't know you were an ASB though. Um, what have you guys been working on? Mostly posters, but um, ASB is also having their annual Halloween carnival in the quad on October 30th from 5 to 7 p.m. All, ele all elementary schools are invited, but of course, Centurions, you can bring your younger siblings. They will also be having a costume contest held for the little ones at the carnival, so make sure to dress to scare. Another super exciting event happening soon is Peer Court. Do you need community service hours? Are you interested in the legal system? Do you want to learn what it's like serving jury duty? If you answered yes to any of these questions, then join Peer Court today. Another club that offers community service hours is Key Club. They meet every Friday after school in room 5117 with Ms. Fidel. Come check it out. Let's not forget about the Centurion Club, who also offers community hours, service hours. They meet every Friday and they have been working on projects for Dia de los Muertos. So make sure to check it out today in room 325 after school with Lucero Sosa. Another club our school offers is a science club. They meet every Thursday in Ms. Park's room. Even if you don't think science is your thing, you should still come and check it out. Bonjour, Alexis. Como se va? Um, Dolores, you're cool and all, but I, I don't really understand French. I said, hello, Alexis. How are you? You should definitely go check out the French club to learn more about French and to do cool activities. It's every Wednesday during both lunches in, in Mr. Figueroa's room 5110. Hey, Dolores, are you interested in learning some basic computer programming skills? Yes, where can I do that? Well, MathCO is a free after-school program led by a faculty and students from UC Irvine to introduce, drum roll please, math in action. Learn how to estimate and predict what will happen to the financial market. Find out how tech and data companies keep your data safe. Learn some basic computer programming skills. Meet UC Irvine students and get Tips and tricks to study for the SAT and find sources, find resources for college and beyond. They meet in room 325 every th every Tuesday from 3:15 to 4:15 p.m. Really, I'm definitely going to stop by since SATs are coming up next week. Yes, Interians, you guys heard right. SAT and PSAT are next week on Wednesday, October 16. So you have four days to study and prepare yourself. You know, you know what else is coming up? What is it? 
The choir and orchestra concert. Duh. Oh, yeah. Something, I heard something about that, but I don't remember the date or time. Well, you're in luck, because I actually remembered both, the date and the time. The choir and orchestra concert will be taking place at the TCC at 7 p.m., so don't miss out. Have you missed any episodes of the Inside Scoop? Well, you're in luck. All previous episodes of the Inside Scoop are uploaded on our YouTube channel. So if you want to see our faces once more, go check it out. Speaking of the Inside Scoop, though, want to be part of the team? Come talk to Mr. Bush in room 331 or 333 after school on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Even if you can't be in the first period class, you should still come and try out. You know we hate saying goodbye. But unfortunately, our broadcast has come to an end. But before we go, the quote of the day. Let your smile change the world, but don't let the world change your smile. Stay tuned for your, two, for your second favorite anchors, Kim and Leslie, on Monday. Bye! Bye.